There are a few important things to know about how to use an X-Acto knife. This craft knife is a small sharp cutting tool with a removable blade. It's commonly used for detailed cutting and paper crafts, model making, and many other endeavors. Most people think of the X-Acto as another word for craft knife. However, X-Acto is in fact a brand name. You may notice other precision cutting tools described as exacto knives, which is apparently not trademarked, probably because it's the Spanish word for exact or precise. Safety is key when working with sharp tools. Always cut on a self-healing cutting mat to protect your work surface and prevent slipping. Most people hold it like a pen or pencil, but with a firmer grip. Be sure to keep your other hand out of the cutting path. I can't say this enough. These blades are very sharp. So when you're not using the knife, either remove the blade and store in a container with a good lid or cover the blade with a good cap cover. This is a good cover and this is a bad cover. Not cool that some craft knives come with this kind of cap. I have indeed cut myself trying to cover the blade with this little thing. There are two distinct cutting techniques. If you are cutting a long straight line, you'll want to use the ruler technique. Do not use plastic rulers, the knife will cut into plastic. Align your metal ruler along the desired cutting line and apply even pressure as you guide the knife down. I keep moving my ruler hand down, kind of like an inchworm, to keep the pressure close to the action. For curves or intricate designs, we freehand cut, no guiding tools. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly by cutting out this wrist cuff from a magazine. I'm holding my knife at roughly a 45 degree angle and gripping it like a pencil. I am right-handed, so for me, I keep my range of cutting towards my body and out to the right a bit. This is where I have the most control. Cut slowly and rotate the paper or mat, not the knife. This is really key. Also, it's usually best to make multiple passes instead of trying to cut too much in one go, as this can result in jagged edges. Many of these cutting lines are straight, so I'll experiment with using the ruler for a couple. It's not as effective as you might think. It's harder to see exactly where the blade is cutting, so I defer to the ruler technique only for longer straight lines. Sharp blades ensure clean cuts. If you notice your knife blade dragging or tearing the material or not cutting with one pass, it's time to replace the blade. In fact, I tore this little area right here. To remove the old blade, twist this part of the handle to loosen so that the blade pulls out or falls out. Then carefully insert a new blade and twist to tighten. Always dispose of the old blade safely. Now that I have my fresh blade, I'll finish cutting out the cuff. You'll notice that it makes sense to cut into the subject versus the background. You can see that I have some white background showing in some of these cuts. I'll clean this piece up later and save it for a future collage. After you're done, clean up any debris and store your X-Acto knife in a safe place. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use your knife, the better control you'll have for detailed cuts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and instruction.